Hi, I'm Ryan Malaszewski. I'm a junior biology major. I'm with my professor, Dr. Mindy Walker here. I've had her for Comparative Vertebrate Anatomy Lab. She's one of the more popular teachers here, and we're going to have a little talk with her this morning. The, the thing that did it for me um, was meeting the students. Some places I went on interviews, they didn't even let me talk with students. I didn't get to meet the students, yeah. Um, and the mission, um, particularly the service aspect of the mission. I think the service. Um, certainly the mission, the Jesuit identity, um, Jesuit values associated uh, with the mission. Uh, and the students, the students are fantastic. Boy, this is gonna get redundant. The students, I mean, I love the students. I, um, I'm director of the honors program now, so I have a lot of interaction with honors students. Um, our biology majors are outstanding. I get to do a lot of research with terrific students as well. Um, it's, it's definitely the students. Just sharing it, sharing it with, with my students because I, I love it so much, I just want everybody to know biology and love it as much as I do. Um, I learn from them every day and that, that's part of my teaching philosophy is that we never stop learning and I, I learn things from students every day. Just this morning I had a, an honor student come into my office and, and tell me um, how to get in touch with my honors alumni. I mean, he was, he actually established these relationships with advancement and was telling me, um, you know, how to go about this. So I, I learn from students every day. So definitely. Evolution. Evolution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I love the Comfort Lab because it's really hands-on and students, mm -hmm. students love, you know, diving in there and doing the dissections and it's a lot of fun. But my favorite actual course that I teach is, is evolution. Normally in evolution, it's nine o'clock in the morning, so I gotta, I gotta get their attention. Um, and so I have them submit questions that they find interesting based on the reading. Then I go through the questions every day before class, uh, and then I put up a couple really good questions, things that we won't necessarily talk about in class, and we discuss them. And so a lot of times, um, you know, I, I set out to talk about something in a chapter, and then we go off on some sort of tangent based on their individual questions. Um, which is always fun. And then often we, um, we read recent um, articles about evolutionary biology and discuss those in class and we talk about um, the content in their book. And because it's, um, it's evolution, there are lots of tangents and lots of questions and, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Yes, certainly, and that's one of the more important aspects and one of the reasons that I came here as well. Um, after I graduated from A&M, I stayed there for a semester and I taught, I don't know if I've told you this, I taught um, general biology to about 250 students and I knew the names of the few who would actually come in and talk to me. And now, you know, I know all my students, I have students just drop by, come in and say hi, um, come in and, and study in my office or just come by to talk and I know all my students and I know them pretty well. My most common piece of advice to anybody, and you've heard me say it, is, is to do what you love. Mm -hmm. So go, I mean, of course I would encourage them to go to, to, go to college, to go to college here. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you've got to pursue what you're passionate about and what you love and put your heart into it because you know, you're gonna be doing it every day for the rest of your life and you've gotta love it. And we've had that conversation. Exactly. I know you're going to do what you love. So, yeah, I, yeah, I love that we're right in the middle of Kansas City, um, and you know I've walked to the plaza from here. It's a, it's a little long walk, but it's a, it's a nice walk. And um, I just went actually to an honors conference this past weekend, and we did um, what's called City as Text, and so everybody split up and went to different parts of Kansas City, um, and then you know made observations and brought that back to the larger group. And these were people from all over the country who were studying Kansas City and using the city as kind of the textbook, reading you know the city of Kansas City. And it was a lot of fun. And everybody from all over just absolutely loved Kansas City and discovered a lot about it. Well, at Rockhurst, since it is a small school, we have more of the one-on-one -on -one type interactions with students, and so we are able to take you guys to conferences. I had several students go to the conference last week. Um, we're going to one next weekend. Um, and having that um, small school feel, I think also allows us to, to just do more, do more research, do more one-on-one um, -on -one teaching, do more tutoring and helping. Um, and then also, because Kansas City is situated right here in a research hub, you know, we have all these internship possibilities, especially for our science students um, at, you know, Stowers and MRI and KU Med and all the research facilities we have around here. So I think, again, going back to your Kansas City question, being situated right here in the middle of Kansas City is 
certainly a bonus as well. Um, well, I do a lot of, um, with students especially, um, we do a lot of educating the public on snakes. Uh, especially and on wildlife and so um, we do events with Girl Scouts as you know um, with local high schools I've done that recently um, local middle schools I've been to preschools um, to talk about snakes and talk about wildlife um, I'm doing a talk um, with Science Pioneers uh, in February um, to talk to, to high school students and middle school students about um, snakes and wildlife and so um, I try to engage you know, the public as much as I can in my research. Um, my snake and I went to Bass Pro Shops a couple years ago and let everybody meet him. Um, so a lot of just public engagement and outreach and education.